So it's really windy out here, and I am trying to face into the wind so that the wind doesn't blow into the microphone, and hopefully you can hear me pretty well. Um, I was just listening to some videos that um, Anti Consumer posted about a talk that Thomas De Zangotita, a cultural anthropologist, gave about his book, Mediated. Uh, it's basically about how our media, which is just the way we think about the world, anything that we use to think about the world, like language, um, any pictures or images, TV, obviously, newspaper, print media, all these things that we use to discuss and communicate about what the world is, uh, are media. So media isn't just what you watch on TV, that's one aspect of the media. Um, in this talk, he is trying to show how there is this distinction between natural science on the one hand and the human sciences on the other. Um, Natural science studies physics, biology, chemistry, um, cosmology. Uh, it studies what it can empirically test using physical experiments. Um, the human sciences have no physical reality to test. I mean, they have cultural artifacts to interpret, but they, the interpretation itself is a kind of Hermeneutics. It's a, it's a, it's a phenomenology of experience, which means instead of trying to tell us what the world is objectively, like what natural science does, phenomenology, or most of the human sciences, just try to describe things. They're not looking for ultimate categories or essences. They're just looking for workable premises that we can use to think about most of the world in terms of, you know, just for pure convention sake, so that we can do any thinking at all about the world. Because all of our thinking is metaphorical. We don't think literally about anything. Natural science tries to, but I don't think it succeeds. Because what does it mean to be literal about something? It means to use letters, right? So, uh, you know, all words are letters, uh, and letters aren't the world itself. They are a representation of the world, a metaphor of what the world itself actually is. You know, a representation, some people think of that as a computer metaphor. It's a computation. It's a framing of an objective state and a projection of it into a subjective state as a re-presentation. So it's presented first out there, and then the brain re-presents it. Um, but that's really, doesn't necessarily have to be a computational thing, like an input-output, like the input is the presentation, and then the output is the re-presentation, or the behavior based on the representation. Um, you could also see that as more of a metaphorical metaphor. And what I mean by that is a metaphor is what it means in Greek uh, is like to carry through or to take from one place to another. Like, uh, let, me, let me look this up exactly. The internet is uh, a little slow. Come on, Google, think. Metapheron, I think, is what it means. Metapheron is the Greek word. Uh, transfer. The Greek word means transfer. So it's like a representation, it transfers the world to the mind, the objective to the subjective. But see, that creates this duality. And the question is, is that duality ultimate? I mean, is that what reality is then? Like this, this conflict between a metaphorical understanding and an objective world, or a representation and a natural world? Is that the conflict? Yeah. At its root? Or is there a unity somewhere? Is there a non dual? And if there is, first of all, what does that mean? And, you know, if, if we know what it means, then how does that change what we experience right now?